Um, did you uh, have any tattoos yourself at the time? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you had already you kind of already knew the what it was. Yes. Yeah, I knew what it was. And were you um, happy with your tattoos at the time? Were you like these are these that are I was dope? getting? Yeah, yeah, these are yeah. dope. Like, okay. Yeah, I was I was happy with them. Um, I got like quotes on my ribs at sixteen. Yeah. So I always knew that I wanted to have a lot of tattoos. Yeah. And I did, I just didn't know how I was gonna get that. I was gonna I, get but that. I wanted a, jo- a career as an artist. Like uh-huh. when, when I was able to shift, and even in the animation, like phase, I knew that being an artist as a professional, you can have tattoos. Yeah, you know. So I was like, let me be an artist, and then I'd be covered in tattoos, and it's not gonna affect me at all. Yeah. And uh, so I always knew that I wanted to have a lot of tattoos. I just didn't know what. How you were going to get them. How, gotcha. yeah, yeah. So, what is your first kind of venture into actually doing this? Like you're like, I want to um, be a tattoo artist. This guy tells me it's a good idea. I know I'll probably be good at it. I'm looking at all these people. They're great. How do I get there? Yeah. What do you do? Yeah, the first thing, I mean, the first thing I did, I bought a little kit, you know, online. I think it was like Amazon or eBay. Uh-huh. I bought a little kit. Um... I tried to go to other tattoo artists and I tried to use YouTube to like help me how to set everything up and yeah. do things. Um, but it, you know, you never really learn on your own until you're working with somebody. They can kind of really guide you and how to like not make certain mistakes. Yeah. So when I first started, I, I didn't like the ink that came in my kit. I felt like I didn't trust it. Yeah. It was like in the super cheap kit and I was like, this doesn't look professional so let me at least grab a professional ink and I grabbed a couple of things and then I just tattooed one of my friends yeah yeah we did he was pretty confident he was like he was like fuck it he did loyalty on his forearm yeah (laughs) yeah he he was down that's so cool yeah yeah, we did I drew the whole thing on a ballpoint pen and I did like one line I tried to wipe it and then like almost four letters just disappeared I was fucking sweating yeah and then I just I just did one quick ass outline to everything. Yeah. And I could finally wipe it and see what I did. Yeah. And then just I've touched that tattoo up like three, four times. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yo, dog, I got a little better. Let me yeah, fix that me, for you. Yeah. Every time I got a little better. Awesome. Uh-huh. Getting a little better, I apologize. Yeah. I just need a hand with just the speed on this. Uh you just press the hold the button down. Mm-hmm. And then you want to go faster or slower? I'm just trying to figure out how to do it. If you have the the button held down, now if you tilt it up, it oh, goes okay. faster. Okay. If you tilt it down, it goes slower. Okay. Yeah, this shit is like... There you go. Space shit. Okay. Yeah, if you tilt it down, it'll go slower. I don't know how long it is. Right there, fine. So there's no actual knob on this, <laughs> on this machine. So you press the button and you point the... The pen up if you want to go faster. Yeah, you and then you sort it. of release the button and it'll stay at that speed. Yeah, yeah. This, this is, is this uh, is this is new. We'll we'll get into the equipment at the end of the at the end of the show, but that's yeah, crazy. This is, I love this machine right uh, now. The wireless machines for sure. Yes. All right, here we are starting the tattoo mid podcast. All right. <laughs> so uh, you got this kit. You do your friend's first tattoo. After that. Do you are you planning on doing other tattoos? Do you have people lined up? Are you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, after that, I just kind of jumped around, tattooing friends, tattooing myself, other people that my friends would bring me. And I mean, I was working at the gas station. I was probably doing like fifty hours a week, and then I was going to school for studio art at the time. I, I switched majors again. Um, to be an artist and then I thought I was just going to do these little tattoos on the side to help me pay for art school and then I could just go into like illustration I felt like illustration was going to give me what I what I needed you know and a little bit of freedom yeah and then tattooing is is a lot like illustration you know people are giving you stories and you have to interpret their story into images yeah and then you also have to be able to make those images read got gotcha. tattoo so it's a lot of illustration that we do in tattoos so what was your second tattoo same, same guy tattoo different guy i got a own symbol on the other ribs got gotcha. you so i did both ribs of the first thing man and they both sucked okay <laughs> did the person know that they sucked 
No, the tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, were you like, yo, these yeah, are shit? Yeah, yeah, you gotta hype them up. No, no. The first <laughs> one I got a misspelled word. And oh, so that one was a rough. What'd one. What'd you misspell? Fulfill. <laughs> you said fulfilled. Yeah. F o o f u u l e d. We have f u l l. Uh huh. F i l l. So they definitely fulfill. Full fill. Really full. <laughs> okay. Extra full. Okay. And then the other one was an ohm symbol that I did in this cool, like, little brush. Yeah. Like, vibe. That one came out good, but I, they, they were both hella painful, and I wasn't ready. But, you know, you just sit there. Once you get started, you can't stop. Exactly. So you just kind of commit to it, you know? Now, those situations probably happen a lot, when, you, especially when you're new. Is like, oh, shit, I fucked this up. You know, what are yeah. some mistakes, and I guess try to explain this to a person that does not draw and doesn't know nothing about art. Like, yeah. what are some mistakes that happen with tattoos? Yeah, I think a lot, I mean, if you, if I consider the misspelling the word that I have. Yeah, yeah. And the little accidents that I've made, they've come from being almost like overly confident or like, yeah, like yeah. getting too comfortable and getting a little sloppy gotcha you know when, when you get a little too comfortable and you're not kind of like taking it serious and are conscious very conscious every step of the way yeah then you're liable to just kind of fuck up and then you won't realize it until it's too late you gotcha know? gotcha so it's been that I feel like I did a, a little nautical star you know the kind of like little sailor joint it's yeah, black yeah. and white on each point yeah and that when I was like real just chilling I was talking to the client talking to her boyfriend the whole time you know and next thing you know i got like a little too confident too comfortable and just jumped the gap and i was like ah, i know this one's gonna be black too because this one's white and yeah white. yeah and then when i came to like finishing the whole star i had two like black ones lined up and i was, oh. like, I was like no no You're like fuck no. i said fuck yeah did they notice yeah because i said fuck <laughs> 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 so had you not said that I don't know said that I might, have had better, notice. I might have had a better shot but I said fuck and uh, I felt like I felt like shit and we were having such a good time you know yeah we were chilling shooting the shit now you know, after that it gets pretty movie. tense right yeah it was pretty awkward yeah, after and that. how long how long did you have to finish it or was it right they at were the end quick of- they were quick little stars I went and talked to the other artist because he had just done the same thing a week before yeah uh, <laughs> I was like bro how did you fix it and uh, he mentioned like trying to like blur from the edges everything yeah it's like literally you just gotta black out the star it's a black star now it's okay the you fix it. so the only way to fix shit is black it out cover it up black it out yeah. don't even get it removed cause I've seen some of the tattoo removals look fucking terrible yeah, it can, uh, if you don't know, if you go to like an unprofessional person, I've seen some pretty bad scarring. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen oh, some like... That's rough. Yeah. So, uh, you're doing this tattoo, the tattoos we're talking about that you made mistakes on, you're in a shop. Um, or was there, because the you, you said there was another artist. Yeah, the one that the other artist, yeah, that was, we were working at the shop. The gotcha. stars happened at the other shop. This was already did, working, you know, and I mean, the misspelling words, so the, the same thing with the other... Is you know not the spell ch- checking, you know not everybody. Yeah, it's just like yo, spell this, checking. Yeah, you know? yeah. like so like, this is how it is because yeah. I know if I'm getting a word on me, I'm like making sure. Yeah, it's should a I lot write of, a check? It's a lot of words, like, and she was kind of rushing. Huh? We didn't double check this. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it says Suko. She wrote Suko on my arm instead of Susio. Oh shit! Um. Yeah. So how'd you get into your first shop? Um, and how many tattoos had you done up until that point before you got into a shop? Yeah. So, I mean, by the time I had gotten into the shop, I had probably like $2,000 worth of equipment uh-huh. that I was getting doing like $50 tattoos. So, I had done a lot of tattoos to, uh, to rack to, up that to equipment. To rack up the... Got you. Yeah, I guess $50, I, I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't be pissed off if you fucked up some stars. Yeah, and I was tattooing whole families. I yeah, mean, yeah, I tattooed the, the dad one day. He bring me the kid, the grandma, <laughs> the aunt. Like, the grandma, yeah, the aunt. everybody's getting tattooed the next day. All right. Um, so that's yeah, that's how it started. And I was, you know, doing the tattoos that way. I had reached out to one artist, um, and I got turned down. I got turned down a few times before I actually ended up at a shop. 
You know, I the why did you get shot, turned down? What was their answer? Or did they give you a reason, or did they just not call you back? Um, um one guy I later found out he was like doing heroin, doing a lot of heroin. <laughs> so it's and probably it's good like, that he didn't hire you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, listen, man. The universe takes you where you need to be. Yeah, that's exactly. The pretty, that's the pretty trippy shit. Because I definitely dodged the bullet. I almost got... It was... Um, who was it? It was like a Victoria's Secret model with like her titties kind of out. Yeah. As the Virgin Mary with a halo of bullets. Yeah. That was going to be my back piece. And I was working... There was an artist who I was trying to learn from. And he had... That's he had the most sinful together. thing I've ever heard of in my life. Yeah. I'm in some dark shit, but that's yeah. like, yo... <laughs> This guy, fucking... I almost got that as my back piece. And because he had designed it and everything, I, I was loving it. And I showed up to the day of the appointment, he just straight ghosted me. I was there like 8 o'clock in the morning calling him, he wasn't picking up. Oh, and what a fucking letdown. Fucking, yeah, he just did it. And it, it was a blessing because I know actually a few people who have gotten tattooed from him and it was a similar situation. All they got was the outline and never finished the tattoo. Yeah. Which is worse than if they left your fucking back blank and some other artist can do a dope back piece for you. Exactly. You know, you just fuck this guy by just doing an outline and never seeing him again. Exactly. You know, so. Then the other I, guy's got to figure out how to fucking make it look good. Yeah. And or if you he doesn't laser like it. all that shit. Yeah. 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 So I, I definitely dodged the bullet there. I had showed that guy a few pictures of tattoos that I've done and. A couple of the sketchbooks I had, and I mean, I, this was the first time I I went to you try like to interviewed. get uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. kind of interviewed, and I just kind of showed up, just eager. My papers were a little messy, and I just fucking just try to lay it out there and be like, "Yo, I'm, I want to do this," you know. And he was like, "Yeah, yeah," you know. And and then that happened with the back piece, and I was like, "You know what? I'm not fucking with this guy anymore." Yeah, I took a little break from looking for other artists. Just kept. You know, saving and doing little tattoos and drawing and going to school. Yeah. I went, ended up at another shop. This guy was a little bit more like he, he wanted to get me in a little bit. And I had organized my work a little bit more. Now I showed up with a three ring binder, a couple of drawings inside of them. Gotcha. My gotcha. picture of, of tattoos. Yeah. He saw me being a little more serious. He did a tattoo on my chest because a lot of times they tell you, you know, like just keep showing up to the shop. And get tattooed by the artist that. Like, if you want to become a tattoo artist, just keep showing up to the shop. Yeah. Just keep getting tattooed Make sure from he them. knows you. Make sure he it, knows you. Because ultimately, you have to hang out with these guys yeah. all fucking day long. Yeah. So they got to find out if they like you or not. Yeah. It's kind of a stage. It's the same thing when you come to the restaurant. You're not just getting judged on your skill or whether you can cut an onion. It's like, do we fucking like you? Do we want to hang out with you yeah. more so than I do my family and my wife? You know what I mean? It becomes so, your family. For yeah, exactly. Sure. Yeah. For sure. These for places, sure. These, these places and these jobs, definitely, it's a second family. Yeah. You know? So you you got the job. No, this one, he also, he eventually started kind of ghosting me <laughs> and also telling me, like, yo, come through the shop. And yeah. Then he, he was like, come through the shop anytime. And then you come through and he's not And there. then I try to come, yeah, I try to come through. He's telling me, don't come for this appointment and do yeah. this and do that. On top of the fact that the tattoo I got. I had told him kind of what I wanted. He ended up doing his thing. And I ended up with these like baby blue spider webs that I hated. So I got tattooed by the guy. Baby and blue I spider even, webs. I didn't even like the fucking tattoo. Yeah. I got All it covered right. up now. Okay. I covered it the tattoo he did for me. The way I saw it was my price to get into the yeah. industry. And I was like, I don't care who teaches me how to tattoo. Like I, I wanted to go after the guys online. And I never saw those guys work in person and I didn't see anybody out here doing that kind of work yeah stuff that I really wanted to do so I was like yo just show me how to use this machine correctly and I'm gonna fucking get to that point yeah you know I'm, I'm, a, I'm going for that you're just like just give me the base and I'll, I'll just take give me it from the there so that's what I I wanted to do with that guy but because he started ghosting me and everything and um, I never really liked the work it kind of just worked out and it just fell through and then I just kind of stopped again and just yeah. kept drawing and tattooing on the side. And then it was one time I was working at the gas station and this like hot chick with mad tattoos comes in. And she's like, everybody from the gas station is looking like, yeah, of who course. Is <laughs> who is this chick? Yeah. And you know, I'm at the gas station too. I'm pumping her gas. So I have to talk to her, you know? So I'm just like, hey, yo, I, I do tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> 
And um, she was like, are you good? I was like, of course. You know, yeah, you think of, I'm gonna of course I am, you know? Think I'm going to tell you I'm not good? You yeah. Know? He was like, oh, well, if you are good, I got a friend of mine who just opened up a tattoo shop in Norwalk. Come check it. Take a look at his work. His name's Adam.